customers occupying commercial accommodation in Australia may qualify for a reduction in GST after stays of more than 27 consecutive nights. The reduced GST is known as the concessional rate. This is calculated by applying a 10% GST to 50% of the inclusive amount for an effective tax rate of 5.5%. Now, that's not as complicated as it sounds. Remember, there are only two rates of GST, the full rate of 10% and the GST-free amount of zero. You are actually applying the full rate of GST to just some of the rent. Let's say you want to charge rent at $500 a month excluding GST. That is, after you pass on the GST, you want to retain $500. To calculate the concessional rate, add the full rate of 10% to the $500, which is $550. Divide that by 2 and apply a 10% GST. Therefore, the concessional GST rate on $500 is 2750 The tax inclusive rent would be $527.50. GST is an inclusive tax and RMS performs these calculations for you, but at least now you know how it's done. Let's go step by step through setting up concessional GST and applying it to a reservation account. First, check the global GST settings. Go to Setup, Accounting and then Accounting Options. Take note of the settings in the GST tab. Today we're talking about properties that use this setting. Calculate GST at full rate for the first 27 nights and concessional rate thereafter. Now with everything to do with tax and accounting options, there are exceptions and anomalies. Before changing anything, always check with your accountant and if necessary, the ATO to ensure you're reporting and withholding GST correctly. If necessary, you can override the global GST settings in the setup area of a category. Go to Categories Areas. I've renamed this to Site Type Sites in my database. Edit a category and open the Accounting tab. If you need to have a GST rule for this category that is different to the global rule, change it here with this drop down box. This is sometimes necessary when a property is divided into zones to provide for long-term and short-term stays. So, now that we've set our GST rules, we need to create the charges. In RMS, long-term guests are billed using sundries attached to a repeat charge. Under Setup, go to Accounting and then Sundries. Here is one I've already set up. Note that the GST type is set to rent. This ensures that the sundry charge will observe the GST rules we set earlier. For now, I'm going to assume that your long-term guests have stayed with you for more than 27 nights. We will talk about a new long-term guest a little later in the video. Normally, the amount entered into the unit price field will include the full rate of GST. So whatever you enter here will be the amount that hits the reservation account. But in the case of a guest who has stayed longer than 27 nights, RMS is going to reduce the GST and alter this amount. For example, if you have negotiated a rental of $300 per month, the assumption is that 1 11th of this amount will be GST. But after 27 days, RMS will apply an effective rate of 5.5% and post a charge of $287.75. Now that is calculating everything correctly, but if you'd prefer the original charge of $300 to post on the account, because it looks neater or you don't want to confuse the tenant, or you just like round numbers, then you will have to amend the unit price to take the concessional rate into account. Take the amount you want to hit the account and divide by 105.5% and then multiply the result by 110%. Enter the final figure into the unit price field. One last thing to check, the GL code that this sundry is attached to must have this setting checked to report the associated income correctly as accommodation. To apply this charge to an account, 
go to a reservation that has stayed for over 27 days. Ensure that the reservation is set to long term. This setting will force RMS to charge the concessional rate of GST from day one, which is typically used when a guest moves from one part of the property to another. This will avoid restarting the 27 night full GST countdown. Open the account that you use to record rent and from the charges drop down list select repeat charge. In the description drop down choose the charge we just amended. For an existing reservation uncheck the initial transaction checkbox. Select the frequency that the charge will be posted on the account. Check the box Use amount from Sundry. Set your start and end date preferences and you're done. Now the GST will be displayed correctly on receipts and invoices. Financial reports will calculate taxes correctly and your guests will be happy that they are being charged the agreed rent. For new customers, you are required to account for the full rate of GST for the first 27 nights. Based on the assumption that you will collect a payment of some kind in advance, an easy way to deal with this is to manually calculate the rent for the first 27 nights, including 10% GST. Then enter that figure into the initial amount field and then commence the repeat transactions using the charge we created from the 28th night. The information contained in this video pertains to those properties who qualify to apply the concessional rate of GST. Check with your accountant and if necessary the ATO for clarification.